finally a snowboarding game for the Nintendo Switch. However, does snowboarding the next phase do enough to set itself apart from its mobile roots? Let's take a look. So for starters, this game has a ton of expectations for myself, and mainly the reason because of that is the teams that have worked on this game have also worked on games such as Skate and SSX, some of the biggest names in extreme sport video games. However, if you're looking for an SSX type title, you might be better off plugging in your GameCube. Now to be fair, this is sort of a budget title. You're only going to be spending $10 on the eShop to experience the first snowboarding game on your Nintendo Switch. And I'm happy to report that this game is a ton of fun. And you can definitely see the quality of these teams coming together and producing a game that is definitely not half-baked or just taking advantage of the fact that it's literally the only snowboard offering on the platform. Now this game is available on the App Store right now and you can download a free version which does have similar visuals, similar unlockables, but it is littered with microtransactions and loot boxes and I'm really happy to report that the developers have completely got rid of all that for the Switch version as they should. And that's kind of the frustrating part because you have a talented team that has created a really solid mobile product and they've done quite a bit to transfer it now over to the Nintendo Switch. However, the mobile routes still kind of peek their heads out and for the most part, it's kind of hard to look past them. Now getting into the game itself, snowboarding the next phase doesn't really offer a ton of modes to keep you busy and the main attraction is going to be career mode. Now career mode has you traveling along 11 different locations ranging from Japan, China and some locations in Canada and each of the locations has about 10 submissions and each mission or you going down the hill has three objectives for you to complete each ranging with bronze, silver, and gold. So there's definitely a ton of content to keep you busy. There's just not a ton of modes to do it in. There's also an arcade mode, which has you just completing objectives. If you don't complete any objectives, you lose a token. So really, again, the mobile routes are just really apparent here. There is a multiplayer offering, which does let you have some split screen, which is a ton of fun. And there are many unlockables like new gear, new boards. You can even unlock snowmobiles and different vehicles that you will see as you go down the mountain, which I thought was a pretty cool touch. And the feeling you get while doing these giant, insane tricks, doing 900s and 1080s and stuff like that, you really do feel like you're playing some of the old SSX games. The controls and just the feel of the snowboarder is really fluid. And I was really just impressed with the overall mechanics of the player. And that was just a real strength for me for this game. One of the main problems though, is that, you know, not so much the levels. The levels are pretty well designed, although there aren't any rail sections. So, you know, those of you who like to grind, there's not many rails. I don't think there's any rails at all. But my main problem with the levels is the length of them. And, you know, for a cell phone, they would be totally fine. They're about a minute long, which is perfect for the cell phone. But for a full console game, it just seems way too short. When you start getting into the groove of the game, the level's over. And it's really frustrating because you have to load completely out of the level, then load completely back into the level to start playing again. And you're going to need to play these levels multiple times because there are multiple objectives that you need to complete. Now overall, snowboarding the next phase I don't think is a must own for extreme sport fans. I think if you find this game on sale, it's definitely worth a play because like I said, the, the fluid movements of the character, this is definitely a high quality mobile port. Uh, however, it just doesn't offer enough for me to give it a full recommendation. This is going to be one of those franchises that I'm definitely going to be looking forward to. Kind of like the NBA Playgrounds or Gear Club and now snowboarding the next phase. I think that these franchises could become much better as time goes on. However, right now, to me, it's still a mobile game. Thank you guys very much for watching this review. If there's any other games that you want me to review, leave them in the comments section below. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.